Hi, this video is to show the Motic DS server network system, otherwise known as an image management and viewing software platform that Motic offers along with the purchase of their EasyScan slide scanners. This is an image management platform for organization and sharing of digital slides. It includes a comprehensive image viewer with annotation and presentation features, as well as the ability to manipulate, annotate, and do much more on your captured slides. It is easy to use and has administrative features to manage user rights and permissions. Once you log into the web address here, you see that we have the ability to log in. As the administrator, you can create different logins with different username and passwords for each individual user. Once we go ahead and sign in, we see that we have a nice ability to categorize our slides. And the nice thing is that you can even only allow certain users to see certain slides. So if you're only looking to share certain certain number of slides with certain people, you can make it easy for them to only see what they need to see. We have the ability to search through our slides here. We can even look them up by barcode, and we can also adjust how we see our images. Let's go ahead and find a nice image to look at and show you the characteristics and functionality that you get on this viewing platform. Go ahead and select this guy here. And at the start, you can see that this works with, uh, like any normal slide scanning viewing platform where you can zoom in, we can pan around, and we can make large jumps across with our overview image, and we have the ability to nicely view our slides. We find an area of interest i'll go ahead and show you some of the more advanced characteristics this allows if we expand our, uh, our our tab here on the left hand side we see that we have slide notes so here is bi-directional slide notes as anyone comments and types in here the next person that goes ahead and views this slide will be able to see these notes up next is our image adjustment we can do things like adjust our gamma our contrast our color channels and much more it can really help uh, optimize the, the the scan given different stain characteristics Next up here, which is a really nice tool called our snapshot feature. So this allows us to kind of crop or capture only areas of interest that we want to see. In this case, let's say I want to see just this area and capture this image. I can go ahead and click a snapshot and automatically it adds this to our snapshot list, which gives us the ability to do a few things such as view that slide. So now we have the image just present. Go back here. It also allows us to identify where this snapshot was from. So here, if I simply click this, it's going to move us to the snapshot and zoom into that, air, that, that magnification, so on and so forth. Very nice tool for marking areas and coming back to them. The next thing here we hear of is attachments, so you can add attachments and files to this. Following with our information tab, it's very nice to find the objective that you took and the image file size and all the information regarding that. Finally, we have our settings. Our settings allows us to show or hide different characteristics such as our label, our navigation map, much more here such as a ruler. Can be really helpful we have our scale bar which is present in the lower left hand corner which is always going to change the scale size as well as the user measurement as we zoom in and zoom out we can show a grid we can show our annotations and a couple more nice characteristics if we hide this we then can review our annotation tools which you can see here we have the ability to circle and outline an area okay as we pan around that is going to move with the slide we have a scale as well as a text box uh, or an arrow that you can see here, just showing a few of them quickly and easily. And with the text box, you can turn, you can um, adjust different characteristics and settings. We can undo, we already went over our screenshot, we can capture and we can turn on or off annotations just nicely there. This little here is gonna be our orientation. So it's nice to be able to reorient yourself, but it's also nice that you can actually orient the slide however you need to see fit. In the bottom right, final thing to show you is we have our magnification. Now, because this is a scan slide, we can zoom in, zoom out at any arbitrary magnification. But if we wanted to jump to a fixed mag, we can simply do it that easily. We can see all of our recently opened slides up here. And by clicking this X, we go back to our main platform. Here we can see that we have a couple of different uh, settings adjustments here, but this pretty much concludes the overview of the Modic DS server online viewing platform. And it's important to note that this is online based, which is agnostic of any operating system, meaning it will work with both a Windows and a Mac. Thanks, and for any questions, please reach out to iMiller Microscopes. Thanks.